Welcome to the Northside Grizzly Coaches Show. Now, here's Buzz with Coach Mike Falour. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the Mike Falour Show. We're live at Walk-Ons, 4603 Phoenix. Coach, we talked last week about getting by Little Rock Central, which was a must-win for us. You mercy ruled them 35 to nothing. We called it the mission accomplished game, but you had kind of the same situation going to Little Rock Catholic. It's a place we haven't won in Little Rock for past few years. Uh, they, they were real similar to Little Rock Ca uh, Central in their records, but they're in the 7A. You got to go down there and play them. You got to beat them. You need to get past them. And it's another mission accomplished game, 42 to zero. Yeah, our, our kids came out and uh, <clears throat> handled their business the way you expected them to. And a little different than what we normally do, I think. <laughs> And normally we're running the ball and we don't right. throw it as much and uh, they kind of dared us to to pass and uh, our guys did a good job. Walker did a good job at quarterback receivers, gave him good protection and I think he was 13 to 15 for 280 yards and four yeah. touchdowns. So it was, a, it was a good night from that. Pretty good night and it's something that we didn't expect in the booth. You know, we're used to seeing that ground attack. Uh, it's just relentless with that big offensive line and uh, Sunquist Church and Ty Massey doing what they do and and to start out like you did, you actually had a touchdown call back to Mari Smith in the first quarter, mm -hmm. uh, and then you were able to answer after that with another touchdown pass. Yeah, they, we had a lineman downfield, yeah. and it, and just blocking, and he just loses sight mm -hmm. of where he is, and then kind of lost his bounce and went forward, but answered right back. You know, they they just dared us to throw the football. Mm -hmm. They had nine guys in the box. They were diving into our, our linemen's legs, not really letting them come off the football. So, you know, it's a good thing that, that we mm -hmm. show we can do that. So. Maybe going forward, uh, people will not quite try to stack yeah, exactly. the box on us as much as, as much as what they did. Yeah, that first touchdown that uh, Walker threw, he really sold it well. You know, when he bootlegged it back to the left side and uh, was able to hit Mari. Uh, things, we had, there was a couple, I think two on us, maybe one on them, of ineligible receivers downfield. You don't see that a lot, really, as fast as everybody's getting rid of the football. Yeah, I mean, you know, we just, you just kind of lose sight of where you are. I mean, mm -hmm. again, the one on us was Brandon Bailey, and he was just blocking and then came off his guy, and mm -hmm. all of a sudden he's seven yards downfield, and they called it. So, luckily, we were able to come back and answer and score again uh, on that s same drive. So, we scored twice yeah. on the opening yeah, drive. Exactly right. 279 yards through the air. Uh, we talk about the running game. You had uh, Sunquist Church. Ran it 11 times for 72 yards, and Ty Massey ran it 10 times for 47 yards. That puts Sunquist Church right at 800 for the year. Mm -hmm. I think it's 799, and then you've got Massey uh, at 600. Pretty impressive for a couple running backs. Yeah, and you know, Massey missed a game, uh, almost a, a full game. And plus, you look at the last two weeks, you know, it's not been a normal offense. We had 31 plays against Central and about mm -hmm. 36 plays yeah. against, uh, against Catholic. So, I haven't been on the field as much. Uh, we, you know, I think for us to be successful down the road, those two guys have got to be able to run the football. Mm -hmm. and, we, and that's what we're going to live on and be able to do what we did throwing the ball, uh, play action-wise, and, uh, and, and, you know, do both. Well, the speed that you have with your receivers, and like you said, them daring us to throw, you watched Amari and King both run right by the DB, so you think they would have learned, but they didn't. You know, this went on the entire game. Yeah, I, I just think they were going to live by, you're yeah. not going to beat us running the football. And so, we, uh, luckily and, and fortunately, we were able to do the other. Different game coming up this week. Oh, yeah. Conway uh, has an impressive record. They're 5 and 1. It's a little deceiving. They lost to Fayetteville in the, uh, the opening game. Mm -hmm. But then the three wins that they have against Bentonville, North Little Rock, and uh, Cabot last week, uh, pretty convincing. Yeah, they, uh, they're a good football team. They, they have everything that you need, you know, good size, good mm -hmm. speed, good quarterback. Uh, their skill guys are very talented. Defensively, they run to the football. What's really uh, helped them out is the amount of turnovers they're getting. Yeah. I mean, they're like plus 25 yeah. in the turnout, which is just unbelievable. Yeah. I think we're like plus 14. Yeah. And, and so just 10 more times of getting a football. So – we got to do a good job of not doing that, turning the football over, keeping them off the field right. as much as we can, 
and then limit the big plays. And, that, you know, they live, they live by that. They do, and, and you're exactly right. Their defense has played a big role in their win, especially against North Little Rock. A uh, lot of interceptions, a lot of fumble recoveries, and they're forcing those. They're so fast offensively, but they're very fast defensively, too. Um, does that pose a problem? Well, I mean, any, any I mean, time you got speed, it, it, it poses a problem. But, I mean, we've worked on that. We go against ourselves, so yeah. we, we have speed. So, you know, I think – I just really believe our guys will be ready to play. I mean, they've kind of had to get themselves ready to play the last two weeks. Well, you don't have to get ready if you're not ready to play these guys. Yeah. And it's going to be that way the next three weeks. You know, you've you, you, oh, you got to sure. get up and get ready to go, and I think they will. They, you know, they've not shown us any different the mm -hmm. entire football season. So I'm expecting, I'm expecting a heck of a football game Friday. Yeah, they're a they're a team that they they have so many different threats. And you look at their quarterback; he's just a sophomore. Mm -hmm. He is, I think, he's six one, one ninety, but he's doing a great job running his football team. He's thrown it uh, 145 times, completed 82 for almost uh, 1174 yards, 12 touchdowns. Remember a guy named Boogie Carr? Oh, yeah. We saw him in basketball. We saw him in football. Good player. He is a very good player. He is, uh, he's a guy you got to watch out for, not only getting the football as a running back, but he's a good pass receiver also. Yeah, you, I mean, you have to do your job. You have to be in your gap responsibilities. you gotta, you got to cover him when he's out of the backfield. They're a talented football team. Mm -hmm. You know, their starting quarterback got hurt the Thursday before they played uh, Fable on mm -hmm. Friday. And, Coach Fimple had told me several times about this sophomore quarterback, yeah. how talented he is. And so he got his call. He's done a good job. He's getting better every week. Uh, we'll see. I mean, you know, hopefully we're going to get after him a little bit and see if they can handle the pressure. Well, we were 77-0 to zero in the last two games. I don't so. think that's going to happen. <laughs> so uh, playing against our defense, these guys have been playing some extremely good football and I know that uh, you've worked with them hard this week and hopefully they can keep up that pace against a team like Conway. Yeah, well, I, I don't expect or to, for them to shut Conway out yeah. by any stretch. It's a game similar to Bryant. For us to win the football game, we need to keep them in the mm -hmm. 20s, low 30s, and, and then we need to do our part on offense, which we've had a good week of practice. I, I, I expect our guys to go out and play really well. And, it's, you know, it's going to come down to, in a game like this, if you don't turn the football over, mm -hmm. it's going to come down to two or three plays. And when they mm -hmm. happen, you don't know, uh, you got to make them. You know, they're averaging 46 points a game, giving up 23. You, you're exactly right. If you can keep them in the 20s, you definitely have a shot. We, we are such a, a nightmare for defensive coordinators for a couple of reasons. One is you, you're able to run these running backs in. I think you're alternating three at a time. Uh, great running backs <clears throat> that are fresh legs when they come in. And you've got a big offensive line. We're going to be able to talk to Coach a little here in a little bit about what he's done with that offensive line and how proud he is of them and what they're able to accomplish. You can't get the numbers you're getting right now without, a, without the offensive line. But for a defensive coordinator to look at us thinking, you know, if we can just shut that run down and then see what they saw against Catholic last week, it's got to be a little or confusing for them. <clears throat> well, that definitely helped, showing that yeah. we, can, we, we can throw the football, we can catch the football, so you can't, mm -hmm. you can't just ignore those guys. And, uh, you know, it's again, I keep going back to you, it's going to be a game of who, who doesn't make the mistakes, who doesn't give up the big plays, and when – when, you, when your time comes, mm -hmm. I'll go back to the Bryant game. Fourth down and one on the one-inch line. All right. We score, we got a game. chance to win. All right. We don't score, and so Bryant made the play. We didn't. Yeah. So it's going to be that same. It's going to be the exact same thing this Friday. We, but, you know, we, again, our guys are ready for it. Yeah. They're, they're expecting a big ball game, and, they, yeah. and they're going to do it. Speaking of Bryant, seeing their reaction when they held us out, of the end zone, how uh, they knew then they just dodged a bullet. So they were in a football game, and Buck James said after that, he said, I just want to get out of Mayo Thompson, just get out of here. Yeah. They know how good we are, what we can, what we can bring to the table. And again, uh, you, you're just not going to be able to make any mistakes, and you got to control the line of scrimmage uh, against a team like this. And, right. and I'm looking forward to it. it it's it's going to be a fun game to call. Uh, they beat us, uh, what was it, 48 to 12 last year. Why did year? you even bring that up? 
Because it's revenge. No, it's not revenge. It's revenge. We, we don't even need to talk about those in the past. <laughs> that's that's uh, not even related to this group. Well, this is a whole different senior group. It no is. question. That's right. These guys can be down. They do not get uh, – well, they're concerned about it, but they don't give up. Yeah. Well, so, you know, we can go back and talk about last year and look at all those scores, and we didn't mm -hmm. compete in any of those games. Yeah. We just didn't do it. I mean, and so this, this group, you know – Thank goodness is you know different across the board. Yeah, and, and they're going to compete. I have no doubt in my mind. Uh, could they beat us like like that? Yeah, if we go out there and turn right. the ball over and do stuff, it could get ugly. But that's not going to happen. So keys to the game: no turnovers. Turnovers. Don't give up penalties. big plays. I mean, yeah, but unfortunately, we seem to get our share of penalties <laughs> every week. But uh, I just think, you know, we got to control the ball on offense like we did in the first half against Bryant, Greenwood, yeah. and do and score when we get the opportunities and then defensively limit them to, you know, make them work for right. what they get. Well, the one thing I see in the seniors' eyes is things, something I haven't seen in a, quite a few years in the past is no fear. They're really not afraid of anybody. I think they have confidence in everything that they do offensively, defensively, kicking game. They feel solid. They think they have a chance to win. And I know you've got to have that, you know, and able to lead that team to, to get a win. Right. I mean, these guys need to realize if they don't, if they haven't, they're, mm -hmm. they're as good as anybody they're going to play. Yeah. It just comes down to do we do it that night. It is even across the board. Yeah. I think as long as I've been doing this, and it's definitely not as long as you've been doing it, but this is as even as I've seen it. Uh, between as far as Northside's concerned. Now, some of the other teams, uh, not so even. But in mm -hmm. the in the Central, uh, it, you talk about Bryant, North Little Rock, Cabot, Conway, and Northside. Any one of them can win any night. That's exactly right. I mean, you, I mean, that's that's exactly right. And so, who are going to who are going to be those people? So yeah, that's what we're going to find out in the next we're three gonna, weeks. We'll find out. Yep, Coach, uh, we're going to take a break and come back with your <laughs> offensive line coach, David Little. Um, and I, I'm going to ask him some questions about his line, how he feels about him as opposed to the last few years and, and uh, kind of what his mindset is going into this game. Yeah, he's done a good job yeah. with them, and it's a good group of kids. Yep. Stay with us. We'll be back with more of the Coach Fleur Show right after this. You're in business to do business, not paperwork. That's where the skills of Potts & Company certified public accountants can help you succeed. Trust the experienced professionals of Potts & Company for tax preparation, bookkeeping, and other business services. Using QuickBooks for your operations? They're QuickBooks experts. The Potts & Company team can help you establish, organize, and optimize your QuickBooks for utmost effectiveness. Visit PottsCPA.com to learn more. For more than 50 years, Air Compressor Equipment Company has provided solutions for the oil, gas, and industrial markets, becoming an industry leader in custom fabrication. An unwavering focus on assembly, sales, and service means that whatever size project you have, ACEC can deliver what works. Air Compressor Equipment Company supplies to businesses working in the most demanding environments around the world, but is still a dedicated member of the Oklahoma community. Learn more at acec-ark.com. Air Compressor Equipment Company. Field tested, quality driven. Welcome back. We're with uh, offensive line coach David Little. Coach, this has been a really exciting year for you, I know, just because of what's come together over the last however many years. To get a group like you have now that are doing what they're doing, I know you're proud of them. I sure am. Uh, you know, we got a group of guys that, uh, you know, I'd, I'd have to say in my, my time here at Northside, across the board, uh, this is as good a group as we've had. We've had individual players on the line that's been really, really right. good in, in the past, but uh, across the board, it's as good as we've had. I think one comforting thing is in the, before the season started, you know, you were talking about all the guys that you had and the name that kept coming up was Jamani Benton, how well he plays, how big he is, he, and he's just a junior, right. but how exciting it is to have him. And then he goes down with a meniscus tear, and, man, you guys didn't miss a beat. Well, you know, we had some guys step up. Yeah. We, you know, we had a couple sophomores that, uh, you know, we really wasn't expecting a whole lot from them. And uh, Mason Medlock and Damian Lopez right. uh, stepped it up and uh, did a really good job for the, those first couple games until Jamani got cleared. Mm -hmm. And now we get Jamani back. You know, those two guys just really give us a lot of depth yeah. and uh, a lot of help on the line. 
Jamani, it took him a couple weeks to get back in shape, in football shape, but uh, he's, he's back he's full back strength now. now. Yeah. yeah, I think what he, he was cleared, was it for the uh, Harbor game? Right. Uh, that he, did, you, did he get full-time play then, or did you just get him in sporadically and get him ready for Bryant? Yeah, we, we, uh, our, our plan was to have him back ready to go full strength, uh, full-time for a conference. Right. So he got uh, about half the snaps against Harbor. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and he wasn't quite in shape yet, but, uh, but uh, he played well. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, in his first day, his first practice back, yeah. you could just tell. You know, he's, he's got another gear, yeah. and we were really excited to get him back. Man, when you talk to these kids uh, about what they do on the line, they don't really ever get a lot of recognition. Those guys are in the trenches. They're trying to open holes for the guys that do get the recognition. But we're trying more to recognize them because you can't get the numbers – that that Walker Kitsavis is producing right now. He's almost got a thousand yards throwing. Mm-hmm. You got Sunquist Church with 800, Massey with 600. But you can't get those numbers without an offensive line. You're right. You know, an offensive lineman. You know, they're a different different breed. Right. You know, they they do it for for the team and they they do it for intrinsic mm-hmm. you know motivation. They're not going to get their name in the paper a whole yeah, lot. Right. But uh, but I tell you what, Walker, uh, uh, you know, Sunquist and mm-hmm. Ty. When, when, the, when the offensive line, when they open a hole for them, those guys go recognize them and they tell oh, them good, good job. So, you know, it's just, that's good. It's, uh, you know, our guys, uh, they, they work hard and, and uh, they love to see those guys break it for long runs. Right. And they, they know they, they've had a part of it. I talked to James Colley after the Greenwood game and he said, Buzz, I don't, I don't like block. I, I like to block for the run. Mm-hmm. I, don't, this, I wish we never passed it. I wish we just ran it. And and I'm and I know he doesn't mean that. He just no I no he, no he really does. Well, he really does. But he, but he gets satisfaction when you throw a 98-yard touchdown sure, pass and sure. Walker's able to step up into the pocket sure. and deliver it. He gets satisfaction out of that. But I talked to Jeff Ferris, my my broadcast partner, about mm-hmm. it. He's an ex-offensive lineman, and he said that's the mentality. They like to run block. Yeah. yeah. But he he just came out and said, man, I uh, I he, like it. I mean, an offensive lineman mm-hmm. wants to. Pound it down, pound it, pound it, pound it, yeah. all the way down the field. That's <laughs> right. where they get their satisfaction. Right. You know, they they love uh, they love grinding it out yeah. and running the ball. You know, this we got. I got a great group of guys. And 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 you are their leader, so getting the recognition that they deserve really comes from you. You know, I know that you you let them know they've done a good job. Right. Uh, and and what they need to improve on or what they're weak on. And they listen to you, and I know you talked about Blake earlier. We get to talk to Blake Farmer right. later in the show about what these kids do. And, and when you see one of them get a pancake block or really open a hole for somebody, I know it's exciting for you sure. because it's a job well done. Yeah, you know, we, after every series we go and we watch, watch film mm-hmm. and, you know, we correct, make corrections and all that kind of stuff. And I'd say a lot of the time, <clears throat> most of the time, I'm not being very nice to them because, yeah, you know, right. I want to be perfect. And they do, yeah, too. Right. And uh, we, we point out things we can do to get better. Uh, but, you know, we our, our group of guys, you know, you got Eric Barrientos and yeah. Jamani. And uh, we got Adrian Falcon, who's yeah. our center, who's who's fantastic. And, boy, that guy's mm-hmm. nasty, I'm going to tell you. He, <laughs> and he he's likes a to finish. Too. Yeah, he's a yeah. junior. And then on the left side, we got two seniors, Brandon Bailey yeah. and James Colley. And those guys really, really do a good job. And then we use tight ends a lot. You know, we got Julian Martinez mm-hmm. and, and Blake Farmer. And I'm going to tell you, they, they do a great job because they're in the run game too. And they, yeah. they've got a block. And, and, you know, Blake, you'll talk to him here shortly. Blake has really come on these last couple of weeks. And we, we've, had, mm-hmm. we've got all the confidence in the world to run behind him just as well as we do Julian. Do they, Julian and Blake, do they ever say, Coach, can they throw it to me? <laughs> Could they throw it to no, me? No, they're, they're both unselfish. They're, right. You know, they, of course, I'm sure they would <laughs> like to have the ball thrown to them. But they want to win just they like do. everybody else. They want to do what it takes to win. But I've noticed that about this senior group. Mm-hmm. It's like they're, they're all unselfish. Right, right. They just want to do what it takes to win. And if you ask them, that's what they tell you. I, yeah, that, that's what they want. I they, got to talk to uh, Brandon Bailey and uh, James Colley right. together. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, I say together, back-to-back right. in uh, one of the coaches' shows. And it was, it was fun to listen to how they talk about working together. Mm-hmm. They work out together. They push each other. That's right. They like to tandem block together. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's just a great partnership. And uh, getting the, the inside view or getting in the mind of a guy that knows you're going to get where you got a 42 to nothing win 
but you talk about the 98-yard touchdown pass or Mari Smith, you know, smoking his man right. or Walker being 13 for 15. That's what they know they're going to hear. Right. But they come to practice. They come to practice. That's right. You know, and, you know, the, the game last week was not one of the kind of games that our, our offensive linemen just love because, you know, Catholic, they were, they were smaller and they had to do a lot of different things mm -hmm. to try to stop our run. They had nine guys in the box and they were diving at us. So, mm -hmm. you know, our guys knew, you know, hey, yeah. we got to throw the ball. So we had to, you know, do a lot of pass protection and, and we gave Walker plenty of time yeah. to, and to hit the wide open receivers. And, and the, you know, we, we've got to be able to pass the ball right. too. And we, we work on that as well with the, with the line. Communication between the backs, the receivers, the offensive line, mm -hmm. and what you're telling me, is very impressive. It's so I, I love hearing that right. because it takes all that to make it work. That's right. Uh, you know the teamwork, like they say, makes the dream work. And mm -hmm. we're all dreaming about getting to the getting to the playoffs and going deep in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. And if you can work as a team, uh, you can get there. And, I, and I, you know they may be able to beat uh, an opposing team. They might be able to beat. Uh, Walker by himself. They might be able to beat Sunquist. They might be able to beat Collie, or they might be able to beat Jamani by themselves. But as a team, they can't beat all of us. Well, you know, that's the goal. It's it's a team game, and yeah. and we feel like on offense we have you know we have weapons, quite yeah. a few weapons, yeah. and we want to utilize them. And and uh, every game we go into it, whatever they give us, we're going to take it because we feel like we can yeah. you know we can match up whatever we need. If we need to run the ball, right. we'll run it. If they give us if they give us a passing game, we need to throw it out there to those guys because they can they can do some good things with the ball too. Yeah, what you've seen on film against Conway, what what have you had to make adjustments? Uh, this week to, to, to try to, to really adjust for their speed and things that they do differently than what Catholic and Central have done? Well, I, you know, I think Conway's, they're, they're very well coached. They've they're, they yeah. got some good athletes yeah. on defense. Uh, uh, you know, but I, I, always, I always go into every game thinking that defense is really, really good. We got to yeah. play great. You know, that's, and uh, so our guys have worked really, really hard this week yeah. and we got a good game plan. And uh, like Coach Fuller said earlier, you know, we, we got to take care of the football, and we got to make some stops on defense. And when we get a chance to score on offense, we we got to score. Yeah, we got to score. If you get that opportunity, you're going to have to punch got, it in. We got to punch it no in. No question. That's right. On a personal level, mm -hmm. you don't put in very many hours as a coach, do you? <laughs> yeah, I do. I put a lot of hours in. Yeah. <laughs> so when you decided to do this for a living, mm -hmm. you also want to have a family. Sure. Your family's committed to to what you do, and uh, and I've seen it time after time after time and and all the the coaches wives and what they do to mm -hmm. allow you to do what you do and we got melody right she's sitting right here mm -hmm. uh watching this you got ashton's here right. uh i guess alex is, is she, she she was going to come but we told her to stay home up in uh springdale because okay. of the weather yeah. yeah and it is bad uh hopefully weather clears up before friday i think mm -hmm. by friday night hopefully everything is all right but i know that uh you appreciate what they do, and, but I think they need to be recognized. Oh, absolutely. You know, from guys like us that allow you to do, you know, what you do. So thank you, Melody and, and Ashton and, and all the coaches' wives that, uh, that do what they do because that's a tough job. I know you guys play Friday night and then Sunday you pretty much spend the entire day oh, getting I, ready. You know, for years I would, uh, you know, I'd tell Melody on Monday morning I'd kiss her by and I'd tell her, <laughs> see, see you Saturday. Right. You know, that's just – that's one of the things about being a coach's wife yeah. is you're going to spend a lot of time alone or, exactly. you know, without your husband. And, uh, but, uh, she, you know, my wife is uh, the best coach's wife a guy could ever have. And my, my daughters are, you know, they've always been with me. You know, right. when they were growing up, they were on the football field. Of course, they both cheered, you know. Right. So uh, I, I was lucky to have that. Ashton filmed for us here at yeah. Northside. And, and, oh, by the way, I want to wish my daughter – Ashton, a happy birthday. She turns 23 tomorrow. 23. So 23. So y'all help me wish Ashton a happy birthday. Well, we will sure do that. All right. And, uh, Coach, we appreciate you. We appreciate Melody and Ashton and Alex and allowing you to do what you do. And it's been fun watching this offensive line. And sure Good has. luck Friday night. And uh, I, I, I kid Coach Fleur, let's get a shutout. Well, he knows that's, you know, not going to hey. happen. But oh. I just want to win. I just want to win, too. Yeah. yeah. Coach David Little, offensive line. Thank you, Coach, for Thank coming you. and spending time with us. Appreciate Davon it. Solomon is next. Burton Pools and Spas. Check them out on their website, burtonpools.com. 
See their selection of hot spring spas, doughboy pools, and in-ground selections. As always, free spa and pool water testing. Burton Pools and Spas, your source for backyard fun. BurtonPools.com. Chlorine-free Backwasil Pool Care System. The difference is clear. BurdenPools.com. With two locations in Fort Smith and Springdale to serve you. BurdenPools.com. At Hug Chevrolet Buick GMC, we dial 7828940. This is Joe Calderera with Taliano's Restaurant. We call 7828940. Keep warm this winter with a York High Efficiency Furnace. Or for more information on endless hot water and a high-efficiency tankless water heater, give Blaylock Heat and Air and Plumbing Services a call at 7828940. That's 7828940. Welcome back to Walk-Ons. We have number 26, defensive back Devon Solomon. Pretty impressive. You got a lot of playing time in against Catholic. Did you and did you enjoy playing in that big atmosphere? Yes, sir. It was my first time there and everything, so it was a lot different. But no, yeah, it was fun. You know, I, we talked to some of the guys last week about getting ready to go play in an atmosphere like that, just a big stadium, college stadium getting ready for it, but it, but it was really impressive. And it was good to see you guys get that 42 to nothing win. But that's a lot to do with the defense. You guys shut them out. You had a lot of tackles that night. How many did you have? I'm solo tackles? Saying. Probably at least three solo tackles. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So Coach Frazier is your coach. Yes, right? sir. Uh, he talked uh, really highly about you. He said that you have really understood the game, your, your, what your duties are on the field. Uh, how you're supposed to react to certain things. Are you pretty comfortable when you go out? Yes, sir. Throughout the week during practice and everything, the coaches just coach us up the whole time. Yeah. And they just get us used to what we're doing that week. And so, yeah, I'm pretty comfortable with it when we go out and When you play. go in. So how do they rotate? Is it like three at a time? Uh, the DBs? <laughs> well, I mean, with the corners and stuff, it's normally RJ and Zion starting right now. Yeah. And then I go out there for Zion sometimes because he yeah. goes up and plays offense. Yeah, Zion, he's a two-way guy. Uh, plays receiver and some defensive back. Um, do you – now, you played your junior high ball at Ramsey, is that correct? Yes, sir. Did you play defensive back there? Yes, sir. So you've always been a DB. There's a different mindset to being a DB. I mean, it's – you got a, you got so many things going through your mind. I mean, you, if you're playing man to man, you've got to watch that guy. You can't let him beat you, but you don't know what he's going to do. So how do you? Do you I mean, is, are there times you play press coverage? Times you play back? I mean, when when is that decided? I mean, it's really just up to the coaches most of the time. But just according to the play, this is what we do. I mean, if we're a man or drop back into his own stuff like that. Well, if you're in, like, press coverage, uh, so are you pretty comfortable with that as far as the speed goes? Yeah, for sure. Okay. I played defensive back one time, and I got burned for a touchdown, <laughs> so that, that was the end of that. So my coach told me back then there was two things that, that we needed to do to win football games. One of them was don't fumble. The other was don't get beat deep. And so – that's that's what you don't want to do is get beat deep. So do you enjoy playing defensive back? For sure, because, I mean, in junior high, I played someone offense, but yeah. I just enjoy trying to hit somebody more than someone trying to hit me. Well, the last two games have been really impressive with the shutouts. It's Little Rock Central and Little Rock Catholic. Now, these guys are going to be a little bit different, Conway, and I know you guys are prepared for them, but they have some really good receivers. One guy named Manny Smith. He's not on my scouting report, but I talked to Conway, the guy that does the uh, play-by-play -play for them. And Manny Smith's really their go-to guy. He, he's number one. I don't know if you've seen him on film. Yeah, I've seen him a little but bit. But he does a lot of running, and he catches a lot of passes. He's their biggest producer. But then they have a guy named Boogie Carr that's a defense or a uh, running back, but he gets a lot of passes thrown to him too. So how do you, how do you play? I mean, you're – when you're a defensive back, do you protect against the run first or the pass first? I mean, the pass, they just don't, like you were saying earlier, just don't get beat deep. That's the ultimate goal is to do that. When you were at Ramsey, did you, were you a cornerback or your safety? I was a corner. A corner. Um, so playing cornerback, who, who's usually in when you're in as far as corners go? 
So uh, it's normally RJ over there on the other side. On the other side? Me. Yeah. Okay. Um, so how do you prepare during the week to get ready for a team like Conway? What have you all been doing this week? I mean, pretty much just keep going over what we've been learning, our plays and stuff, yeah. what our coverage is to do and everything, and just getting right like that and everything. Have you all been watching a lot of film? Yes, sir. So what do you see on that film that concerns you? I mean, I'd say mostly the receivers and then the quarterback. He's, he has a pretty good arm, so yeah. that's definitely something that I was watching on film. Yeah. And then the receivers are pretty fast also. So. It'd be good to have our – our defensive line get a lot of pressure on him, try to flush him a little bit. Uh, he is a sophomore, so uh, his experience or the, the six games that he has played. So getting a, playing against a defense like ours, hopefully we can put a lot of pressure on him and force him to make some bad throws. And if he does, I hope you're there waiting for one of them, get a pick and take it all the way back. Yes, sir. Good. How are your grades right now? I mean, I'm doing pretty good. It's all A's and B's so far, trying to get them up more. That's, that's important. That's the very first priority is your grades. Do you have plans after you leave Northside? I mean, I'm trying to go to college. I don't really know what yeah. I would like to go for and everything yet. But would you like to continue to play football, or would you, you want to go and get your degree? I mean, it just depends. I mean, if a scholarship or something came around, something came yeah, up. I would go on. But. If I just had to go somewhere, I'd probably just go and try to get a degree in something. Yeah. Uh, any idea, you know, what you'd like to do for a living? I know you're, that's a long way ahead, but you're a senior right now. There's some decisions that are going to have to be made, you know, probably in the next four or five months based on kind of what you want to do with your life. And it, it's been so much fun watching you play football. Senior year, man, you're blinking, it's going to be gone. Have you enjoyed it so far? Yeah, because before I was at Northside, I came from Southside. I was over there my sophomore and half of my junior year. Yeah. And then I came over to Northside, and then just this year, everybody's been treating me like I've been there ever since I was a sophomore and everything. And it's just fun. The atmosphere is amazing over there. Do you feel like you've made a good decision? Yes, sir, for well, sure. We do, too. Thank you for coming to Northside. Thank you. It is, <laughs> you know, we want to we wanna keep the street going. So you weren't a part of the – well, you say it was halfway through your junior year. So the streak is now at six, and we appreciate you contributing to that. So stay with it and uh, have a big game against Conway. I hope you get a pick six or at least some breakups or just a lot of tackles. Yes, sir. Right. Thank you. Devon Solomon, number 26, defensive back. Come watch him play Friday night. He's fun. Thank you. This. This is a walk-on athlete. They push harder and put their heart into the game. This is the passion we're built on. It's why we put our heart into creating game day with a taste of Louisiana. Walk-ons, we live for this. When I talked to the Sawyers about some windows and the concrete work, uh, they showed me several different uh, options of things that they had done, and it all looked good. I would recommend Sawyers to anyone. If they came out and looked at my concrete, they could see the quality job that Sawyers did. They were very professional and top quality. They were on time and on budget. I am 100% satisfied with the work that they've done. Welcome back to the Mike Fuller Show. I had a great talk with Devon Solomon. Uh, right now, we've got a special guest, number 32 linebacker, Ryland Johnson. Eight tackles against Little Rock Catholic. Yes, sir. Big game. Mm -hmm. I enjoyed watching that. You do, linebacker is, is a special position. It, it's the kind where you get to hit a lot. Mm -hmm. you, you, you get to inflict a lot of, yeah, we do. A, a lot of damage. And watching you guys, Seth and McCade and uh, guys like that, and, and when you rotate in, it's like you all have the same mentality. And talking to uh, Coach Solly about what you do, he said, your improvement has been amazing over the last year or two and what you do and what you bring to the table. So do you enjoy being a linebacker? Yes, I do. What's the most fun about that? Uh, probably the hitting. The hit yeah, the right. hitting, and we're always right there on the outside. Right. So I can get to the quarterback fast. Yeah. 
So, how tall are you? Um, uh, I think six foot, six one, six one. You pretty, you're pretty healthy young man. Thank you. Yeah, you work out quite a bit. Yeah, we're usually just at the school, a little bit at, at the home. This summer, how did you prepare for this season? Uh, focused up a lot, and I uh, got to the weight room a lot. Yeah. To get bigger. Yeah. And then uh, at summer summer practices, we yeah. were really focused and got together, and we uh, what is it? We got closer together. So yeah. That helped that helped a lot. Our bonding. chemistry. Yeah, yeah. It helped that chemistry a lot. Do you have a workout partner? Somebody uh, that you that you normally work out with? It's either Davion Hinkle or Kendra Esau. Yeah. Yeah, those guys that like, push me a lot. Yeah, I just saw Kendra walk in. Uh, he's a big young man, too. Mm -hmm. And watching him change, I mean, he went from linebacker, now he's on the line. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of changes in the last two weeks with the defense and some of the different alignments. So how, how that hadn't affected you any at all, has it? Uh, no, not really. I just moved this week to middle linebacker for this game. For this game? Mm -hmm. For the Conway game? Mm -hmm. All right. So what's the strategy behind that? Well, uh, they have a big run game, so uh, we're uh, putting our middle linebacker up a little more right. to help stop that, hopefully. Yeah. And I guess I, I moved over there, you know, my height a little better. Right. This kid, uh, number 11, I think, Boogie Carr, mm -hmm. he's, a, he's a good athlete. We've watched him. He's a junior this year. We watched him a lot last year. Watched him in basketball, too, but he's just a real quick. He's not big, but he's just a quick, real elusive back. Mm -hmm. So you're probably going to see him a lot yeah. Friday night. You were preparing for him. Would you say hi to him for me? Yes, sir. You get him? <laughs> With one of those big hits? Yes, sir, I will. All right. Well, we're looking forward to it. Uh, Where would you play your, your junior high ball? Uh, in seventh grade, I played at Chapman. And yeah. then eighth and ninth grade, I moved to Kimmins. All right. And uh, so when you were at Kimmins, did, were you always a linebacker? Tell me what your positions were. Well, in the seventh grade, I was a center, actually. And yeah. I also played linebacker. Gotcha. And then eighth grade. I was a linebacker also, or I was a safety at the time. Yeah. And then I moved down to the linebacker towards the end of the year. Yeah. And that's kind of where they had me the rest of the year. And right. And in ninth grade, I uh, was a wide receiver, tight end, and yeah. a, a linebacker. So you're just a talented athlete. I mean, they could put you wherever they need you, and you're good. Yeah, I can help it. the team anywhere I need. So that's the thing that I've noticed so much about the seniors is that you guys, it, it is about the team. It's about mm -hmm. getting the W and however you, whatever you have to do to get it. So. They've moved you to middle linebacker because of your physique and, and things that you bring to the table, uh, and, and you're okay with it. Mm -hmm. That bond that you guys have that started a couple years ago, you've been, a, you've been a close group, and I will say as long as I've been doing this, this is the, the tightest group of seniors that I've ever seen, and it makes a difference. Yeah, it we're really close. It really helps you. What happens on, say you miss a tackle, uh, or one of your buddies misses a tackle, or something goes wrong, they miss an assignment. How do you pick them up? You no, know, we just tell them they got it next time. We're never arguing, we're just picking each other up. Yeah. Tell them, you know, they got it next time, you know, just keep playing hard. That's what it takes. Yes, sir. Uh, senior year, it, it's going to go by fast. I mean, mm -hmm. you're already, you've already played six games. Uh, how have you enjoyed the season so far? It's, it's been fun. Yeah, but like you said, senior year is going by really fast. Yeah, We're really in the middle is. of the season. You're a leader for the younger Grizzlies. I mean, you've got some juniors and sophomores that are going to get some playing time. Um, how do you help them? I mean, do you uh, coach them up? When, yeah, anytime when they the need some help or anytime they need a question, the coach is not around, I, I try to help them as much as I can. Yeah. So uh, Friday night, this team that's coming into town, they've had some big wins. Now, they lost to Fayetteville in their opening game. Uh, then they beat Bentonville, they beat North Little Rock, they beat Cabot. That didn't scare you. No, no sir. It doesn't affect you at all. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what it takes. Uh, you weren't intimidated by Bryant when they came to town. They were glad to get out of there with a win. Uh, I, I would love to have another shot at them somewhere in the playoffs, and I know you would too. Yes, sir. Uh, but, but Conway doesn't threaten you at all. Uh, no, not at all. So this week, you guys... Uh, Today, let's let's just let's just talk about today's practice. How did today's go? Tomorrow will be basically a walkthrough, won't it? Mm -hmm. How did today's practice go? It was good. Really, the whole week was really great. Yeah. And uh, this week, you know, just regular Wednesday morning practice. You know, yeah. I mean, sorry. That's, Thursday uh, morning. Yeah, yeah. And uh, we were just uh, you know practicing hard, really getting into it, focusing up. Yeah. Just getting the last little bit of details together. Got you. So you got quite a bit of time Friday night. You made a lot of tackles. 
you were in on a lot of plays. Did you get dinged up any at all? You, I hurt my, uh, my ankle a little bit, but that's about it. Did you – do you get treatment for that? Like, mm -hmm. when you go in Saturdays or uh, yes, how does that work? Oh, uh, well, usually we get ice on uh, Sundays for film if we can. Yeah. Or just throughout the week, I'll ice it before and after practice. How do you feel right now? I feel good. You're ready to go. Mm -hmm. You're going to inflict some pain. Yes, sir. Let's do it. All right. If we can get a win here and then we go to North Little Rock next, we got a lot of schedule left between Conway – North Little Rock and Cabot. So we just got to take them one at a time. Yes, sir. Get a big win. Yes, sir. Ryland Johnson, number 32, linebacker. <laughs> Stay with us. We'll be back with Blake Farmer right after this. You're in business to do business, not paperwork. That's where the skills of Potts & Company certified public accountants can help you succeed. Trust the experienced professionals of Potts & Company for tax preparation, bookkeeping, and other business services. Using QuickBooks for your operations? They're QuickBooks experts. The Potts & Company team can help you establish, organize, and optimize your QuickBooks for utmost effectiveness. Visit PottsCPA.com to learn more. A to Z Furniture in Alma is ready to meet your furniture needs. In these trying times, with all the shortages going on, they're working hard to keep stock flowing and the warehouse filled. A to Z Furniture understands that you need your furniture in a timely manner, and they are striving to make that happen. Open seven days a week for your convenience and offering financing and delivery. A to Z Furniture would love for you to stop in and shop today. A to Z Furniture on Highway 71 in Alma. Worth the drive to save more. Welcome back. We're with Blake Farmer, number 86, tight end. Like you're a big guy. Were you this big last year? No, no, absolutely not. So when did you start making that transformation uh i really just i wasn't really satisfied with with where i was and uh i kind of just thought to myself that i needed to hit the gym and start yeah. eating a little bit more you know, get a little bit more mass on me but uh this summer i really just tried to focus on getting a little bit bigger so i could be able to take on a lot of these guys that we're going up against and there's some big guys that you go up against uh and you need the size uh, to be able to play the position that you play. I mean, it's a real unique position, tight end. I mean, you can get the ball thrown to you, but for mm -hmm. the most part, you're trying to block, uh, get, you know, get these guys set free or give Walker time to throw it or whatever. Just a lot goes into, into your day-to-day -day routine at practice. And I talked to your coach, uh, Coach Little, how impressed he is with what you've done so far this year. How do you feel about your senior year so far? Um, I I think that I've improved a lot from uh, last season. I'm yeah. I'm not satisfied yet, but uh, I'm uh, I definitely am happy with where I'm at right now. So when you started training this summer, did you have a workout partner, uh, or did you pretty much do it all on your own? Not really in the summer. I mean, when uh, when we work out with with the team, it's, I usually work out with uh, Jet Frazier. But yeah. but. Uh, not really over the summer. Yeah. I kind of just went by myself. Did you, did you, that's something you made up your own mind to do. That's, yeah, that's very sure. disciplined uh, to do that. I mean, if you're in an off-season program or if you're in a weight training program with the team, then you got people telling you what to do, when to go to the next station, how much weight to put on. But when you're having to do it yourself, that's motivation that, you know, a lot of guys don't have. Mm -hmm. And if you do have that, it'll take you a long way, not just today, but just a long way in life. Mm -hmm. If you can make up your mind to do what you did, and it's paying off. You know, I get to see every play you play, and you're an impressive young man. Thank I know you. that you have a, a buddy, Julian Martinez, that he's the other tight end. You guys split some time. There's times that you're in on double tight formations, but, uh, but you guys, you're so unselfish. The entire senior group is. Is that something that is just comes natural, or did y'all have to work at it over the last couple of years? Or, um, yeah, it's everybody's worked together to kind of be where we're at right now. I, I mean, we've all talked about it. Like, we can't, none of us can like argue, and like mm -hmm. we all got to be on the same page, and uh, we got to try and lead the team. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I feel like whenever we were sophomores and juniors, we we didn't really have the the type of leadership that we needed I feel mm -hmm. like and I feel like it was just something that we owed to the sophomores and yeah. juniors that we need to 
to show some leadership. Well, that's what it takes. And, you know, I got to talk to you guys uh, before the season started, and I was impressed with, you know, the, just your mindset and what everybody said they would do basically just to keep getting wins. And it wasn't about them. It wasn't about the stats. It was just about the wins. So when you, when you started your football career, let's just go back to junior high. Where did you play your junior high ball? Uh, Trinity. Trinity. Mm -hmm. What position did you play then? Uh, middle linebacker and uh, right guard. So this is a whole different position. Yeah, completely. When you got to Northside, where did you – when did you start playing tight end? Um, really, the first practice, I, uh, I was put at tight end, and uh, uh, they had me at middle linebacker for a little bit, kind of mm -hmm. like a switch player, but then I ended yeah. up just staying at tight end. Well, tight end is uh, – usually those guys look like you. You know, they're big, they're strong, they're smart. They have to be athletic because you may get a ball thrown to you. You, you may have to block. Uh, and, and, and I know it's very uh, satisfying for you to listen to your coach say, we want to go to his side. We feel comfortable going to his side. How does that make you feel? Great. I love it. I mean, I love when I get to go hit somebody. So, But to, for them to have the confidence in you to it's, be able to uh, send those guys to your side. Yeah, it's a, it's a great feeling. Yeah. I, I mean, I love it. Well, it's been fun to watch so far. Being five and one uh, is is something that, you know, if you started the season or before we started the season, you start picking out the games that you that you think you can win. What were you thinking when you looked at Southside? You looked at Greenwood. You look at Harbor, and then you got Bryant. Uh, and, and then you got Central. Then you got Catholic. Are you about where you wanted to be right now? Uh, yeah. I know I, you'd like to be 6-0. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it'd be nice, but, right. I mean, not, yeah, for sure. I think we've, I think we've worked our butts off. And, uh, I, I mean, obviously, I mean, we don't want to lose another game, obviously. We want to go all the way. Yeah. But. Well, after that, Bryant, when they came to Mayo Thompson and we ended up losing that game, after the game, how did you feel? Um, it was, I mean, it was a kind of like a mix of emotions. I mean, yeah. like I knew that we all knew that we could have beat them. And, yeah. uh, I mean, it, it sucked that we lost, but I hopefully we'll see him again. I do too. And I'd love to see him in the finals. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it just depends on how the draw works out. But I felt the same way after that game when they scored first, we came back and we hit him in the mouth mm -hmm. and scored and tied it up. And I think it was 14 to 14. Uh, at one time, or maybe it was 17, 14 and a half. But uh, I knew then, I said, well, our guys aren't intimidated at all. They're not afraid of Bryant. That mystique that they've had for the last 30-something games is not affecting our guys. And I just was curious how you felt after the game. And, and hearing you say that validates exactly what I thought, that you felt like we let one get away from us there. And, yeah. and uh, we'd love to have another shot at them. For so sure. what do you have planned <clears throat> after your senior year? Uh, I plan to uh, go to the University of Arkansas, mm -hmm. and uh, I look forward to it. I'm excited. Do you have anything in mind uh, career-wise, what you're thinking? It's, I'm, it's, I'm still putting in thought to yeah. it. I, I don't really know for sure yet. but right. I'm, uh, Well, you're young. Yeah. You know, you got yeah. some time to, yeah. to think about it, and I just want to tell you thanks for coming to Northside. And uh, being a Grizzly, it has been a, it's been a pleasure watching you play and, uh, and a pleasure watching you grow like you have. And uh, good luck against uh, this team. We're going to play Friday night, Conway, and then uh, for the rest of the season. Stay healthy and let's keep getting those wins. Yes, sir. Blake Farmer, number 86, tied in. Come watch him play. He's worth it. For more than 50 years, Air Compressor Equipment Company has provided solutions for the oil, gas, and industrial markets, becoming an industry leader in custom fabrication. An unwavering focus on assembly, sales, and service means that whatever size project you have, ACEC can deliver what works. Air Compressor Equipment Company supplies to businesses working in the most demanding environments around the world, but is still a dedicated member of the Oklahoma community. Learn more at acec-ark.com. Air Compressor Equipment Company. Field tested, quality driven. Burden Pools and Spas. Check them out on their website, burdenpools.com. 
See their selection of hot spring spas, doughboy pools, and in-ground selections. As always, free spa and pool water testing. Burton Pools and Spas, your source for backyard fun. BurtonPools.com. Chlorine-free Backwasil Pool Care System. The difference is clear. BurtonPools.com. With two locations in Fort Smith and Springdale to serve you. BurtonPools.com. Welcome back to the Mike Fleur Show. Coach, thanks for bringing these kids. I mean, you do it every week, and it's so much fun to talk to them, uh, the seniors, and it's every week it's the same thing. Do what they want, do what they have to do to win a football game. It's just impressive the, the way that they've grown and bonded together. Yeah, I'm, I like it because, you, you know, a lot of times you don't know who these guys are. Yeah. You see them in a helmet and whatever, yeah. and you, you, you get to put a – a face with a name and a uniform, and, and you find out a little bit about them. And mm -hmm. I, I just like to listen to them. You know, cause yeah. they talk more to you than they do to <laughs> us. So uh, it's it's fun to it's fun to watch. That is it is fun to watch. But I, you hit the nail on the head. You you don't ever get to see these kids without a helmet on, yeah. and to be able to hear, you know, how much they enjoy doing what they're doing, or maybe what they're going to do when they get out of school. It's it's really fun to. to and I, Ryland told me. Uh, that when he gets out of school, he wants to get into construction business. I said, brother, I need you. you That's go. what I do. So I may be recruiting him uh, when, he, when he gets out of Northside. Also, I want to say thank you to all of our fans that come out to, to walk-ons for your show. We, could we get a, a, a camera shot of our fans? we so appreciative of them, what they do. The fields here are here every week, the Hobbs, the Stites. Uh, the Greens, Dr. Rathman, I think I saw her come in. We appreciate uh, her, and she was in uh, she was in Little Rock for the Catholic game. We got to talk to her for a little bit there. And thank you to all all of you guys for supporting us. And I want to say happy birthday to Melissa Douglas. She thinks I don't know, but I do know. Happy birthday! All right. <laughs> uh, we have another one too. Tomorrow is going to be Ashton Little's birthday. Really. So uh, I, I want to say happy, that. say happy birthday to Ashton. All right, Coach, question and answer time. All right. First question is, uh, these last two games, you mercy ruled them pretty quick in the third quarter. Your starters got a chance to rest a little bit. You are able to get a lot of kids into play. Uh, do we have any kids that, that are hurt? Noah Altman and Takavian King looked to me like they were banged up a little bit. They were, but they've, 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 they've recovered. They're, I don't know that they're 100%, but they're pretty close. I mean, so yeah. we're, we're, going, we're going into week seven, you know, yeah. with everybody that we should have go yeah. play. So. And that's something I think every team fears. Oh, you yeah. know, where, where is that point going to be? And, and we're – we're lucky to get what we are and not have anybody out. And uh, you hold your breath every time somebody makes a big hit or takes a big hit. And, yeah, uh, we, we've been very fortunate. And, I, you know, a lot of that I have to attribute to the way these guys have worked in the summer and mm -hmm. in the weight room. And, and then, you know, you got to have a little bit of luck. Yeah. And we've so far, knock on wood, it's been on our side. Definitely. So, to Kevin, he went down on the uh, Catholic sideline, mm -hmm. and I couldn't really tell. Uh, what the injury was. Something to his heel. To his uh, heel. Yeah, like a bruise. But yeah. he's, he's practiced all week. He looks full speed, so he's good. Noah hurt his, hurt his knee a little bit, and I think he's getting close to being back full speed. So. Was it his right knee? You know, I don't know. Uh, it seemed like he was favoring his right side. Um, and I don't think – did he have to punt? He, not from that not, point on. Yeah. He punted twice, uh, but that, he didn't but have not to punt after that. the rest of the game. No. Okay, well, we – Definitely keep our fingers crossed that uh, that he's good because he may have to punt a few times, hopefully uh, very few Friday night, but we definitely need him. Uh, the next question, I, we'd already talked about this, but this is one of the questions. Conway may be the fastest team that we have played or that we will play offensively and defensively. What changes in uh, your game plan to adapt to that? Uh, we, we won't change anything. You know, It'll just take uh, a few reps maybe a series to get used to the speed of it mm -hmm. but again we're we can run too so it's not going to be as big a deal as if we were a slow football team yeah so you know we've they're very they, they huddle and run they don't huddle they run plays about as fast as anybody right. we play so we've worked on that this week by 
using two huddles against our defense. Yeah. Run a play, run a play, run a play, run a play, making them get, the, get their calls, get lined up, and getting them used to that tempo of what they're going to see. Uh, what is this? Uh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't know. Whatever. Hey, Thank I don't you, know. Girl. Thank you. We get a picture of this right here. And put over here where you sit. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Is that one of the that, questions? You know. <laughs> no, yeah. Well, the question was, um, will I be able to keep my job if I sing happy birthday to you? Yeah. Since I knew how against this you were, mm -hmm. but uh, too bad for that. I owed you because you got me. Okay. So happy birthday. Thank you. Which was yesterday. Correct. All right. Um, there's one other thing that I'd like to say, and I'd like for everybody here to to listen to this. This is this is pretty big. <coughs> Buzz. Not only you're, is you're you are. Bartering on losing your job uh, okay, now. Okay, but this is not going to cost me my job. I, okay. If that didn't, then this definitely won't. But I just want to say congratulations to you. I was notified uh, Monday that your 200th career win was against Little Rock Catholic. So what a huge well, thank you. accomplishment that was. I didn't know that either. So. Yep. 200. 200. That means I've been around a long time. Long time. Yeah, but congratulations for that. You know what thank I need? You. You know what I need? What? I need 201 all Friday right, night. I'm all for that. All right. I'm all for it. Coach, we have uh, Conway coming up. After that, we go to North Little Rock. So this time next week, hopefully we are talking about that win against uh, Conway and uh, get prepared for North Little Rock. But uh, thank you again for your show, and, and thank you to Walk-Ons for having it here, and thank you to all of our fans. and. Everybody that's having a birthday, Melissa and Ashton, and, and thank you to everybody that comes in. Uh, Melissa is McCade's mom, McCade yep. Moody. He's he's done pretty good this year, wouldn't you say? He's done really well. Well, a lot of good people have birthdays. They do, a lot of them. They telling. sure do. Well, we just want to uh, continue uh, on with uh, what we do. And, uh, again, we'll be here next week uh, talk about North Little Rock. Uh, thank you to Walk-Ons for hosting this. Thank you to Dylan and Caleb who are here tonight. Appreciate what you guys do, and uh, good luck Friday night. Thank you, Buzz. We appreciate it. Stay prosperous. Stay safe. Go Bears. Go Bears. At Hug Chevrolet Buick GMC, we dial 782-8940. This is Joe Calderera with Taliano's Restaurant. We call 782-8940. Keep warm this winter with a York High Efficiency Furnace. Or for more information on endless hot water and a high-efficiency tankless water heater, give Blaylock Heat and Air and Plumbing Services a call at 782-8940. That's 782-8940. Do good when you eat good. Level up your to-go order by donating to the Walk-On's Game On Foundation, supporting youth athletics and their communities. Game On! You're watching Grizzly TV.